Hello oh, guys, this is Good Lake, and this is the series where I try to create an application to replace and expand the functionality of YouTube Subbox. Let me address the rather large gap between this video and the last one. What happened was that I wasn't feeling very well since last weekend, so that would be 21 or so. Usually when I don't feel well, I try not to record because it just, it just doesn't work. If it's something like lack of sleep or in my case, a bit of a headache, it'll just end up bad. I know I tried before. It's not a good idea. I mean, if you think this is bad, imagine it being worse. So what's the uh, in for today's videos? There's no actual real plan this time. I only have uh, some notes to change some criteria here. I believe the criteria would be for the video story. I'm not sure we can change it here. So let's go in a backlog and see if we can change it there. I didn't like the wording of these uh, uh, acceptance criteria, or well, specifically that one acceptance criteria has a kind of a branching path. I think that's not a very good idea. You might as well have two acceptance criteria without branching paths, which are mostly copy pasted versions of each other. But let me change this and then you'll see what I mean. So given that I have selected a video and a default browser is available, when I ask for a link, the application launches the link in my default browser. Given that I have selected a video and no default browser is available, when I ask for a link, the application copies the link to the clipboard and informs me about it. As you can see, rather than having two acceptance criteria, one of which deals with uh, a kind of a weird uh, branch and then another one which has to specify what's going on. These two are much simpler, even though they're very similar, but copy pasting isn't hard. And uh, I got this idea basically because I was doing some acceptance criteria at my work in this past week. As I was doing it, I realized that this would make it much simpler than having, let's say, really much branching, because in my case, there was a lot more branching to it. So it was immediately obvious branching in the acceptance criteria is a really bad idea. It just makes it more convoluted and hard to understand what's going on. With that out of the way, we can now move on to our actual sprint. So from this point on, I'm going to start a 30 minute timer. At some point it will start ringing. And that is the essential limit for this video. I'm not going to see it, but I more or less know it's going to be uh, 0946, something like that. I'm not sure I'll pay attention to that too much. But the idea is that once we reach it, we stop and then we continue in the next video, whatever we were doing. Let's start with the first story in our sprint. Let's do it. It's now going to be in progress. We pick a story well for no real reason other than that it makes sense sort of uh, as i explained previously this story is about searching for a channel this is about seeing a playlist contents this is about seeing information on video so if you can search for a channel then select the playlist in the channel, then select the video in the playlist. That would be a very nice kind of a progression. Uh, so that's also why they are ordered like this in the backlog. It makes perfect sense. The first step, of course, won't be actually dealing with the story. We don't even have a created project. So let's get started with that and uh, then we'll see what happens next. So we're going to use IntelliJ IDEA. Uh, I'll just start off with a simple Java project, which uses uh, the latest 1.8 SDK. Uh, I will create a basic command line app template because it'll just uh, speed things up a little bit. And uh, my package that I use is usually good like it's basically the initial package uh, for every single class. It's good to have it because um, you're not going to jump on someone else's class accidentally if you have something unique and you good like sounds pretty unique. I don't think anyone starts with EU. I'm just hipster like that. So this project is going to be called just sub box. Good, there's nothing with that name. As you can see, we have the original legacy YouTube sub box here and an HLS downloader, which is a separate project of mine. You will see it in the uh, GitHub, which hopefully we'll prepare today as well. Oh no, that's not good. It already exists. 
No, cancel. Cancel. Okay, so subbox already exists. Let's fix that. All right, I moved the subbox to the legacy, and now there is no subbox anymore. Or it shouldn't be anyway. All right, this is the basic uh, view. Our party right now is very empty. And uh, let's try and see if we can't uh, restructure it a little bit. So first of all, the tool we're going to be using for building the project is going to be Gradle. And what the fuck? Accidentally didn't click on the dot. For some reason it uh, has a weird shape. Anyway, I'm not even going to try to remember every single little thing how to make... Uh, it'll work. Uh, it's been a really long time since I've set up a project. I'm going to go ahead and copy a setup from one of the latest projects that I've worked on, which will give a, a basic setup for us. All right, so this is a basic configuration from another project that I've discontinued. It's a Saiyan bot project. It was basically a Twitch bot for uh, my buddy Saiyan, who used to do uh, Rocksmith... Uh, 2014 on his Twitch channel and he needed a way to essentially gather requests from people to play certain songs and at the same time have an easy way to get links to those songs to download them because they're all kind of user made and they have a special website. He stopped doing it and uh, I was actually paying for a VPS at that time more or less for that specific purpose. Everything else I was uh, using the VPS for basically was thrown out the window anyway so I kind of stopped altogether. That being said, before we get started, we really need to clean this up because there's a few assumptions in this project. So first of all, it uses GeoCo, although I'm not sure I can show it here. And there it is, GeoCo. Uh, it has a whole separate setup for GeoCo because it needs to generate some files before it uh, is compiled and stuff. It's way too complicated and we don't we don't need that. So let's clean this up. So first of all, yes, we'll use Java ID application. Uh, we will use this uh, to update with dependencies, but we don't need a comment. I don't think it's necessary anymore. It's pretty clear what these applications or plugins do. Uh, these are very outdated and we'll use this version's plugin to update it. We could use the version, I suppose. It makes sense to have a version. We're not going to need any sets extra other than spike, which we will use soon and I think uh, I'll explain later what it's for. So we're not going to use our utility. Uh, I, I have a utility, a shitty utility library also available in my GitHub. Uh, it's very old. I used it for all kinds of things that I didn't know where to find elsewhere or that I thought were cool. And I managed to get it on G-Center. Not even, don't even ask. Don't even fucking ask how that happened. But we, we don't need it. It doesn't have anything useful. Now what we do need is some uh, Guava and Apache Commons. Apache Commons! But I will make a more extensive list as we go on. But this It's clear. This is not used for that. This is for logging. Uh, as for caching, I will add that if we need to. It's always nice to have some logging, though. Always nice. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need injection, but if we do need injection, I will probably use something new and something very light. Uh, I heard dagger is very light. We definitely won't need an Eric bot, and we almost certainly won't need database stuff. We won't need anything generated. More than likely, I will update all of this to... JUnit 5, because I've had some experience with that now. Uh, this is good, because Spike is basically going to be the same as our normal structure, but different. Here's the main class name. Uh, we don't have a main class, except we do, so let's actually call it main. Now, a lot of this stuff beyond it deals with the configuration of the project itself. I'll go over it once the actual project is set up. For now, let's just clean up what we definitely don't need. So things like generating GeoCo, we don't need that. Source sets, we don't need, or do we need something? We probably will need a lot of these source sets. Uh, so this is for source, as we have right now. This is for a configuration, which will be private to me. This is sort of a configuration, which will be public. Uh, generator is not needed. Generated is not needed. Spike, just spike and config public. We won't use anything in Spike that we don't want to be public. Right, we 
don't really need that. This this configures correctly the uh, idea settings here. So if you go into well not in the settings actually into project structure, and you go into modules, there's a bunch of configuration here that uh, is usually automatic, and this particular part of uh, the build file will tell it, okay, ignore, exclude certain folders, which you don't want to see, which we don't want to see. We don't want build to be in there. We don't want cert at all. Uh, cert was because I was connecting to a remote database uh, which had uh, certain requirements. We don't need that. Configuration server. Yeah, this is more configuration that's like, I don't, I don't even know what it's for. I guess it was uh, used for some other purpose that uh, isn't important right now. I don't remember. Gradle is where I want to put my Gradle wrapper. I'll explain later. Idea is general idea dot logs is for logs sql is for sql we don't need that right now no actually wrapper is here gradle is for normal stuff which yeah gradle is for various things that gradle will produce but uh, not the wrapper the wrapper will be separate because the wrapper will be put with the project artifacts will be where we'll put all kinds of things that we build uh, inherit output there sure and IML generate to idea. So yeah, just make sure that we don't have a bunch of files littering up everything. And there's another file.ivs which used to be generated for some reason and we will move it out of here. It'll, it'll be easy. We'll be using build dependencies. Uh, yeah, it's just basically to once again move various kinds of uh, generated files away from the main directory. We use a gsend repository. I don't know, I just like it. It's what Android uses. We have our group, and we have our special compilation arguments, and we need to change the Gradle version. So let's see what's the latest Gradle version. It's actually not clear from their website what the latest Gradle version would be, is it? I have something installed. Maybe it's in their GitHub. Uh, no. Downloads. There we go. I mean, it's it's really weird that you know you open a website of something and it doesn't immediately tell you what the latest version is when that's really often all you need to know. Here's the latest version. Bam, we downloaded it. Well, we haven't actually yet. To download it, we're gonna run in terminal uh, Gradle. Well, no, actually, we won't do that. There's a simpler way to do this. We're going to import. Uh, module from existing sources, I believe. It's a box. Right. You can do that, I suppose. I've never tried it. Exclude the modules. I don't like separate module per source. It usually just fucks shit up. Use the wrapper task. We already have that, so we might as well use it. And uh, I don't know if this will actually fuck things up or not, but I like to specify. The thing is that uh, when you run this, occasionally the project development kit just gets changed, but I always want to use 1.8 regardless. So yeah, and other than this, there's nothing here. So let's run this, and it's downloading 4.8 for some reason, like a retarded puppy. What the hell? Hmm. I know why. Cancel this. The reason we that is because Gradle wrapper was it wasn't using the correct task, right? It wasn't using the correct task. We we need to do Gradle wrapper first. Gradle Gradle wrapper will now download the actual newest version of Gradle or fail for some reason. Cannot get a known property generated. What? Where is generated? Oh, I see. There it is. Get out of here. Uh, that was just to make sure that generated stuff ended up in the... Really? Oh my god. Now it's not even there. What? It's, the wrapper succeeded. Okay, that's, that's, everything's fine. I misread it. Everything's fine, guys. Build successful. It's just, I, I, I should have 
cleanse the terminal every single time. All right, all right, all right. So now what we can do is, uh, well, we were, we just, God damn it, IntelliJ idea. What are you doing to me? You're supposed to allow, <sighs> whatever. I, I was mistaken. Again, I thought, what I thought was happening is that I was actually using the default Gradle wrapper, which wasn't the one that was used in the task, but actually it's the opposite. Whatever. Maybe, maybe I'm just imagining things. Let's just fucking refresh this thing. And now, now it's downloading 10.2, which is the correct version. One thing that you should expect is that we're going to run into issues with every single fucking part of this process. It's just like, oh, the build tool doesn't work. Oh, IntelliJ idea doesn't do something you wanted to do. Just get used to it. Just fucking get used to it. What the fuck does that mean? Fail to know the why progress this there. Are you kidding me? Cannot compile... No, compile, no, it, it's, it compiled. But then it stopped. Let's try again. Oh, look. Magically doing it twice actually works. This is what I'm talking about, guys. Just, just give up. You will never make sense out of any of this. Anyway, there we go. We have a bunch of things created for us already. So we have Gradle wrapper, as you can see. We have our idea. We have... IML is here. Why is LML here? IML, what are you doing? Very strange, because at work, I have a special option as to where I want to put my configuration files, but here, this option isn't available. I don't know why. So, I guess I'll run Gradle idea as well. To, just to make sure everything is um, perfect. And for some reason, it's not perfect. Okay, maybe I need to move this into here, and then... Yeah, it already exists. Let's try that again. Okay, so that file was completely worthless. It just forgot... This this application forgot to delete it. But now everything is fine. Everything is working. Everything is amazing. And we only have, like, ten minutes left. Oh my god, this is kind of... Disastrous. We're not even going to start actually coding in this fucking episode because of this old fucking shitty setup. All right, so to explain again what, what all of these are, basically you have Gradle, where the Gradle shit lies, and some random crap. Fuck off. Wasting my space. Idea, which contains all the configurations for IntelliJ Idea. Wrapper, which has the wrapper, allowing us to now do Gradle. So, sorry. Rattle the idea. Yeah, there we go. Now it uses even better things, such as newer versions of Gradle, even though I don't have them installed. And that's about it, really. Didn't create logs. I guess because it's excluded. Oh well. Yeah, I think it only created stuff from this particular setup. So we can manually create a module? No, a package directory.logs, where we'll keep our logs, and what else do we have? That's it, actually. There's no builds, because we haven't built anything. We can actually run our main, and then it will create a build package, hopefully. Could not find or load you could, like, I mean, that's usually a bad sign. What are you doing? Alright, let's just cut-paste to make sure it's Properly there. aligned. What are you doing? Gradle. Life of a developer. Fight. This this episode is going to be fighting Gradle and a IntelliJ idea. Totally. Totally. Okay, so why isn't it finding this fucking main class, even though it's very clearly in the source directory? What could this mean? Oh, I see. The project compiler output path was fucked up. For some reason, it didn't actually set the correct output path, even though it's very specifically specified in the idea to inherit output deers, but didn't inherit output deers. Well then, all we have to do is specify them here, subbox, and just say dot build. 
And then I believe now if we run, if we still run Gradle V idea, it shouldn't fuck that up. Yeah, it's, it remains not build. And now if we refresh it and we run main, it should work. It still doesn't work. Fuck my life. Okay, let's look deeper into this. This class path, yep. Everything seems to be fine. It's working directory is here. Just doesn't like it because of my setup of having just one source set. Is that the problem? It's like, oh no, everything's in one place, so everything makes sense. Better break. We have a shadow jar, don't we? You can just use that. Probably. So what does this do? It, it's server configuration, which we don't actually have right now, and th even though it's dot config, which doesn't even exist. Yeah, we don't have that right now, so we'll add it later if we need to. All of this is worthless as a result right now, so yeah, it's not needed right now. Gotta be kidding me! What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's fucking debug this fucking runtime thing. Look at all this shit. Java X, uh, Libidea. Is this because build was not created? Is that a problem? Can it not create its own build product? That would be retarded. But it's true, it's n the, the problem is that this isn't compiled. It's nowhere here in the project. Even though it's set up to work in this specific directory, even though it clearly has things like what the hell, yeah. Inherit project compile output path. Everything's fine. Everything should work. This is this is development, guys, and we're almost out of time. We're gonna give it a little bit of an extension until I find the fix, and because we need to deal with this right now, otherwise we can't even fucking start the next episode, and this whole fucking series is gonna be, oh, we can't run this fucking fucking application in the first place. Ha 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 ha. Okay, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Okay, get out of here, you piece of shit. Fucking hell. That, that really fucked it up good, didn't it? Let's undo that. No, that's not gonna work. It would do. Okay. So this is the usual fucking IntelliJ idea horse shit. Oh. Oh, no. No. Why? Why are you so bad, IntelliJ idea? Why are you so bad? There's an easy solution to this, guys. Very easy. Gradle. Nope. Okay. Now we close this project. Because fuck this project. We fucking destroy it. We nuke it from orbit. We get rid of this because that was not where I copied it from. We will now reopen it again. Okay. Can this work? Could this possibly work? Yes. Oh. Ho ho! There you go. Okay, we can still delete this old shit because we don't need it. Takes up space. Uh, now in Gradley Idea, don't have anything. Refresh this. Maybe it's better that we don't have anything. <laughs> Honestly, at this point. Okay, run main. See what happens. There we go, modules. Yay! Except it's, 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 it's. <sighs> okay, okay, fine. That's fine. Build Gradle, what are you, what are you doing, Build Gradle? What are you, what are you doing? Surely I have specified that I don't want. Yeah, my output file is an idea. This doesn't help, does it? Well, it creates an AML file here, 
but it doesn't update the module file because it's too fucking stupid to update the module file. I swear, these fucking applications get dumber by the fucking day. All right, now, now what? Oh, look. Now everything seems to be working, maybe, hopefully. All right, seems to be working still. Let's run main. Seems to be working. Let's move this into the Gradle. Nope. Okay. And now it's gone again. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, cause it, cause it fixes. What is wrong with you? Why are you so goddamn stupid? Why, why, intelligent idea? I set you up properly and you still betray me. Alright, well, that's, that's fine. There's an easy fix. Undo that. Okay. Whoop. Magic. I don't want this IML file to be here because it's, it takes up space and it's annoying. I'm, I'm gonna fix this. I don't, I don't give a shit. This is getting fixed. This is important, guys. What? What? What is happening, guys? There's two fucking files now. What if I refresh this? What kind of madness are we going to explore okay so let's say we delete this now okay yeah because it doesn't exist anyway so why would it be okay finally IntelliJ idea has accepted our lord and savior gradle's configuration it only took running random fucking tasks arbitrary amount of times over and over but now all the idea files are in the idea fucking folder as they fucking should be now we can delete this and not worry about it look at the beauty of this structure irrelevant shit relevant shit what wait what the fuck is this I, I i know what this is why does it exist here if i delete it will everything break again Ugh. Look at this. Why is why did it change? Oh my fucking god. Can you not be stupid, please? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Does, does it work? It works. And it doesn't even create a classes randomly in the middle of everything. Does Gradle V idea break this? Okay, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Okay, we. What is happening? What is going on, guys? I guess this this, this is our project now. Just just forget about it. Like we don't, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't go on like this. This is. This isn't over. This is not, this is far from over. Now we close the project. Get rid of it. Open. La 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 This is a good sign of things to come. Oh look. Hmm. Okay, so my guess is that the problem is less so to do with it's it's more to do with the fact that essentially when we run Gradle V idea it's supposed to create a well it did Oh my fucking god. I said refresh. It 
It's ignored. Who's ignoring it? There's no, no, what? There's no GitHub here. What is happening? What is going on? There is no Git yet. That's the next step I wanted to do after this. Okay. Okay. Right? Get out of here. Stop. You violated me. Okay. So, if I remove this, everything's going to break. Because it doesn't understand that it ha Okay, wait, no. I have to remove it. Okay. And then I have to run Gradle the idea. And then nothing happens because this module fucking bullshit doesn't change. But if I refresh it, 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 it returns, but there's... What? What the hell is going on? Okay, well, what if we... Okay, let's, for the sake of argument, comment out everything here. So that it, in fact, everything here. So that it just uses the default idea setup. Whatever that is. Okay, so we refresh. Everything should be now in its default state. Module still doesn't know. How is it even working then? I run Gradle the idea, what happens? Yeah, it generates three files. So hopefully now these files overrode the old file and now the configuration could work. Now that we've done this, we can redo this and then run Gradle the idea. Which doesn't work. If we move these into Gradle, that is not in the correct folder, into idea. Right. Does this still work? I mean, it looks like it works, but if we try to run an application, well, we don't need to do it like this, we can do it like this, it won't work. Because it can't find a class because of this. But if I have the audacity to edit this file manually, then run it, it works. Well, it should have worked, but I guess I still have to, like, refresh it or something. No? What about this? Oh my fucking god. Okay. Let's just delete idea. Just completely delete it. And Gradle. Import changes? No, no. Yeah, we've removed everything. Okay. Let's do the command line approach. Okay. Let's try one more time like this, or should we change to file-based? No. File-based? Just in project. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. Did we actually do it? What the fuck? Look! 
Look where it's now. What even is this? This this is probably broken in some way still, but fuck it. If it works, I I don't care. Run, man. Cannot start. Oh dear. Oh yeah. No, 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 that makes sense. Eureka. Okay, grand little idea. Generated project file, doesn't really matter, I suppose. Refresh, does it still work? Okay! I think I've wrangled with it enough and now it works, because it created the separate... Listen. I don't understand what's wrong with it there, really. It's just some kind of a really IntelliJ idea specific nonsense. But I managed to get rid of it, and it only took about 20 minutes longer than our limit of the first episode. But fine. We did it. We have an actually reasonably looking project that we can now fucking start using and IntelliJ idea has nothing to fucking complain about anymore it does bring up the question of uh, if you try to copy this project how will it work the answer is really simple you won't have any of these issues because uh, a lot of these things uh, are just for me like i just really have uh, a problem with uh, having these files sit in the middle of a project. If you don't care about that IML file being here at the end, then you will just copy this code, make it compile the way you want to, and it will work no problem. Uh, but if you want to actually do it like this and have this file reside apparently here, then yeah, you'll have to wrangle a little bit. What I did was I ran uh, Gradle V idea task from command line and then I imported a project and it seems like that fixed it. Sort of. For now. If it ever comes back, then yeah, yeah, I guess we'll fix it. But again, this is just my issues uh, due to my preferences. This isn't something that you will have to deal with and uh, I'll make sure of that, don't worry. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we'll set up Git, get up, and start working on the fucking task. See you later.